Hello everyone, welcome back to How to Hack. Today we are going to exploit a vulnerability in DVWA machine. And this is about file inclusion vulnerability. If you like to know more about cybersecurity, you can subscribe my channel and support me. Before we begin to exploit file inclusion, we have to understand what is mean by file inclusion. This vulnerability will allow attackers to see sensitive file in your machine, or it can even allow attacker to run malicious files. Every website contains some files which are accessible by privileged users only, but by this attack, attackers will be able to see all sensitive files. Now let's do some practical. We can begin with low-level file inclusion. You can see three options are available here file1.php, file2.php and file3.php. Whenever we click on this option a new page is opening up. You can see the URL too. Now I am altering the URL to file4.php which is not even in the option. You can see the result a page which was hidden is now accessible. Now I will show one more thing. Let's erase the file name from URL and now we can inject another URL to the URL. Here I am trying URL of google.com and press enter. You can see the result Google homepage is available here in DVWA. Now let's change the security level to medium. Here security is little increased. While analyzing the code I understood it will block any input begins with HTTPS or HTTPS. But it's not blocking all. Here I am trying slash slash etc slash pass this is the location in Linux where passwords are saved. And it worked it's now displaying all usernames and password hashes. Now at last we can try file inclusion in high security. On analyzing the code I understood. The input validation will verify that only input begin with name file. That can be file 1, file 2, file 3. But still there exists an issue this security measure is just analyzing the beginning only. So first upon I will find the path of password file in Linux. In every Linux machine the password file is saved inside etc directory. And now you can see passwords are listed. If you like to know more about cybersecurity you can subscribe my channel and support me.